Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to Part 8 to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Brought to you by GamingOne.com. Alright, I decided to buy some more cards because that's how I roll. And hopefully I picked up some decent ones. The school representative is going to be... It's totally going to be me! What are you talking about, Jaden? Everyone knows it'll be Zane. But sorry, what if he doesn't want to? Guys, I already said it's gonna be me! Well, if my bro's not gonna do it, then I'll probably be the duelist with the highest title. Hey! Don't forget about me! Wait up! Oh, now it's time for the test. They just say the same stuff as before. I should have, like, more than 10 victories overall. What no monster can destroy obnoxious Celtic Guardian in battle? Uh, Dragon Zombie. Okay, that equals Mavilus. Fushi no Tori is not even a fusion monster. That would be the Black Skull Dragon these two make. What do you need to ritual summon Magician of Black Chaos? Dark Magic Ritual, obviously. Due to the effect of Mystic Tomato, what can you special summon from your deck? Lesser Drag. No! Oh. That's not even a dark monster. Which combination of monster in your graveyard can you remove from play a special summon Black Luster Soldier? Okay, it has to be light and dark. Nope! Oh, I messed up. Which level 6 fiend is the highest attack? Summon Skull. Do the effect of Flaming Care Mercury number one, where you can special summon. Um, Flaming Care Mercury number one again. <laughs> Which trap is continuous trap? Magical Thorn. Yep. Which light monster has the highest attack? Master Dragon Soldier. Next is the skill exam. No rules. Number 15, and I did not do that one. Maiden of the Aqua, so it's treated as Umi. There's an active field spell, in fact, not applied. Crab Turtle. Alright. Wait, what is its effect again? Field is treated as Umi, but there's no. Okay. Release Restraint. Can't do anything with it yet. Tribute one gear free the Iron Knights, there's just one gear free the Swordmaster. And then there's Lightning Blade. Okay, so I see what I gotta do. This one seems pretty easy. Gear free the Iron Knight. Activate Release Restraint. And then you can special summon Gear free the Swordmaster. Let's see its effect. This card, uh, when this card is equipped with an equip card, destroy one monster on your opponent's side of the field. Oh! Oh! I hit the wrong button! No, wait! I can still activate this! Okay, uh, crisis averted! Select opponent's monster to destroy. Well, obviously this one. I thought I messed up! And I can do enough damage. Whew, okay. Might have wasted some seconds there. But I got 99 points out of maybe 100. Okay, now we got the practical exam. Remember, it involves spells. You know what? It's fine. I have enough spells in my deck anyway. And I have mods, or I have cards, that can allow me to reuse some spells. Okay, so I literally have no monsters I can use. Um, I'm gonna 
to go ahead and use that. It better not be a spell card that goes in the graveyard. Okay, so I added Snatch Steel to his deck, or his hand. That kind of sucks. Ooh, he's got a lot of traps. So he's got the Forgiving Maiden attacking with only 850. I can go ahead and do this. I will not chain anything. He can't snatch steal anything that's face down. Let me see if I can try to use up as many spell cards as I can. Call of the Haunted. Uh, here comes the Forgiving Maiden again. Let's see what I can do here. I can use White Magical Hat. And I can do enough damage. Hopefully he's still got Snatch Steel in his hand. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Increase your life points, I don't care. Was that Snatch Steel? I don't know. Nope, that was a Kestis of Dagla. So, he can still take my monster. Although, I do have a magic jammer. I should go ahead and set this. Come on, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Well, that's one thing you can't do. I got no counter for that. I like using that monster, too. Wait, are you attacking? No. Oh, you just added Big Bang Shot. You know what? Go ahead. I'm not worried that you only increased your attack points by 400. Besides, it looks like you still can't even beat the Yami ship. So let me uh, make your life a little miserable. Let's see what you got to counter this. Another enchanted javelin. You know what? That's fine. Numinous healer. Okay, this is pretty much the same deck I fought before that it tried to increase its life points as long as much as possible for the sake of extending the test. I mean, he's doing me a favor, so I'll, I'll give him that much. At least I know that his traps are not going to destroy me. Unless I let him, of course. Oh, until that happens. However, was the exception. And somehow I got it. <laughs> what else is new? Fire Princess. I'm gonna go ahead and activate this now, so you can't really do much. Never mind! He could attack. I'm not going to use Rush Recklessly on it. Why would I want him to do more damage to me? Oh, Turnabout is fair play, huh? It's another spell card. Oh yeah. 
Alright. Time to turn this around. I have a feeling that this guy likes to use the kind of deck that Taya would use in the other games. Like, I just have this nagging feeling. to get rid of Cosmo Queen, but I'm pretty much gonna have to. What was that, Nimble Momonga? Huh, <laughs> called it too. That's a little ridiculous. I feel like I should be activating Rush recklessly at some point. It's another spell that I have to use, so... Makes sense. Oh, man. Kinda wish I had one other monster to use. Oh, the only monster that's on the field. Would be the wise choice. There. By having a Snatch Steal on my own, I'm pretty much extending the duel, too. So I can just go ham on this guy as much as I want. Especially with two monsters on the field. Oh, it's a draw. Okay, can't really do much now. Until I bring this guy out. Huh! That's right, the uh, Fire Princess effect kicks in. Let me go ahead and summon this guy instead. So when he would, because of his Fire Princess, when he gained 1,000 life points, I lost 500. And I was able to counteract that right away. Oh, Heavy Storm. Wait. You know what? I should allow this. Go ahead, take your monster back. Sort of deep-seated. Okay, now that I'm not okay with. Because now I can't destroy it. Unless... I use Barrel Dragon's effect. That's if it doesn't work. I can still attack it. Yay, two heads! So because of Sword of Deep Seed's effect, it just returns to the top of the deck. That card can be very annoying if you just want to draw something else. This guy literally has nothing. He's not going to do anything! Look at him! This is sad. Come on, your move. You got to do something. Okay, that's the one thing that he wanted to do. Alright, let me flip Summon Magician of Faith. this one. I'll set it. 
and I'll keep ticking this guy off even more. Oh. Okay, well, I guess I have to attack it. Fine, I'll do it. Oh, Kisetai! So he has another means of extending the duel. Now I'll be getting 1300 life points back each turn. I guess for each of my standby phases, then. Shinado's Ark? Oh, frig. This could be a massive problem. That's 3,300 attack points! No, make that a 3,700 on top of that. Oh, shit. He's gonna attack my Barrel Dragon, isn't he? No, he's not. I'm just gonna go for as much damage as possible. That's a spicy meatball. I might have a plan, though. Well, that was a bit too late. Okay, let's take a look at Shinado's effect. All right, let's see. When a defense position monster on your opponent's side of the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard by this card as a result of battle, inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to the attack of the original monster. Ugh. Barrel Dragon, I need you to do this for me. This is like Heart of the Coin now. this in attack mode. Make it attractive to attack this. Then my Mikazura can kick in. Oh, Marie the Fallen One is in the graveyard, too. That must have been for the Ritual Summon. No, I'm not going to activate Rush Recklessly yet. Because I want to keep my Barrel Dragon alive. This is a very tangled web here. Some things you got to do. I did not know he had that card. Man, I almost lost. Well, he's still going to gain life points each turn. I have 19 more cards in my deck. All right. So, we're still in it. And I think if I do really well, I can actually move up another dorm. Hopefully. That would be great. Get a new change of scenery. Set a monster. All right. Giant true nade, eh? I will go ahead and chain. There. Yeah, he gained more life points as a result of that. But no more. Now you just get to set it again. Three tails! Wow! That was pathetic! Alright, well, have it your way. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, at least it's only one. Imagine if I deck out. 
That's a real possibility. Ooh, Gravekeeper Servant. That's another spell card. Right, I know what the, that is. That's another Kaseatai. Oh my god, what, what is wrong with me? He's not going to bother to attack either. Because he's a wimp. He knows what's up. And again, I'm not doing much attacking either. So I'm playing my cards close to my heart here. Maybe I can get him to deck out. I don't know how many cards he got left. Oh my god, what the hell? He's got 27 cards. So he cannot deck out. Other card then. Ranadora. Huh, oh, that's right. Because of its effect. That brought me a little bit closer to victory. There, make it a little bit harder to pull through. Please. Oh, three heads! Okay. Yeah, that's a little overkill, but I appreciate it regardless. Another Granadora. Okay, let's try for one more turn. We have 50 more cards in my deck. I think I still got some spells. I can hold out a little bit longer. You'll move. And whatever he brings out, I can keep destroying. Just set another trap, please. I need an excuse to uh, throw down this nobleman of extermination. Too bad it doesn't apply to like face-up cards. Okay, I am thankful for that. Just go ahead and do this. Mirror Force is gone. Okay, cool. I'll wait a little bit longer. I'd like to keep him very close to defeat, though. That's not going to help. Milk it for what it's worth. I mean, that's what I got to do. I have 11 cards left. Alright, come on. Give me yet another spell. That is not a spell. Work with me, game. Just give me what I require. Give me that which I desire. <laughs> okay, no important messages that have shown up on my phone. Good. Why did I go into the battle phase? I meant to just use the effect. Eh, whatever. Well, on the plus side, at least he hasn't been able to use St. Joan. Okay, so Barrel Dragon's effect can only be applied to monsters on their side of the field. And not, like, monsters that are still equipped cards. 
realizing that the hard way. I don't want to keep going to like my last card, because what if he somehow counters it? Then I have to draw again, and then it's too late. really have so little uh, so little spell cards in my deck I think so oh that's right I gotta just start discarding now turn after this. Once I'm down to like five cards, which is the next turn. Am I only going to get points just for using spells and nothing else? I feel like that's the case. Oh, here we go. That might get me a little bit over the hump. I think it's time to end this now. We've waited long enough. Okay, so I got... Oh, if I used one more spell, I could have gotten the full 300 points. Wait for my results. Oh, wow, I'm fourth overall. <laughs> I did better than Alexis, for crying out loud. Okay, Chumley only got 110 points. How pathetic. That's game! The practical exam with a piece of cake! No more classes today. I'm gonna go home and duel Cyrus again. Congratulations! You passed. Good, you're dueling. You've won over 10 duels. You're no longer a beginner, you're average duelist. However, the road to King of Games is still very far away. You can't rest yet. You have to keep dueling. Due to your results, you can choose between Raw Yellow, Slifer Red. You can enter one of the two dorms. Now choose. Obviously, I want to go with Raw Yellow. Understood. Starting tonight, I expect you to hit the books at Raw Yellow. Ooh, this is actually a very nice room. All right, let's uh, take a look at our new surroundings. Okay, so there's a new person over here. But a new person over here, too. So as you keep moving up, you do have new people you can visit. Before I end the episode, why don't I actually see this guy or girl? My name is Dimitri. I don't mean to brag, but I studied all the best decks ever made. You really think you can win against the best strategies in history? What are the odds that you have those? Now, there's someone else that's new. Unless that's the same person. Oh, here we go. I'm, I'm Briar. Hi. Sorry, I'm not really a people person. Hold on, there's another new person. I'm Beauregard. I'd rather be a game designer than a duelist. He looks so grumpy. And I got mail. Even my uh, DA has changed. Have you ever dueled Briar or Beauregard? When those two lose over and over, they finally get serious. Especially when they're in the duel arena at night. I hope to duel Briar when he's on his game. Huh. Seems like interesting information, I guess. But now I'm an average duelist. So it's good to know we are moving up the ranks. Uh, let's look at the calendar. Oh, okay, it's the 25th now. So we're moving on to December. Oh, I get my allowance that time. Something that happened on Christmas. Ooh. Okay, get the allowance. New Year's. New pack will arrive. Got another exam in January. Oh, we don't have exams in December because of the Christmas break. 
Huh, Valentine's Day. Oh god, that's hilarious. March 14th? That wouldn't be for like St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day is on a Saturday. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay, 1st of March. Good to know they didn't really screw that up. Yeah, they did that right, like, first, second, third. I thought they were gonna do, like, a one-th or two-th. That would've been weird. Anyway, I think I'm gonna stop here, and in the next part, I should get used to my new competition. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.